people, the Indigenous Australians, the Aboriginal people have been playing these things for thousands and thousands of years. And do you think it's easy? No, it's a very, very difficult thing to learn, okay? A lot of people think Flash CS3 is a very difficult thing to learn. If you're thinking that Flash is a difficult thing to learn, then no. Try and get your hands on one of these things. This is a didgeridoo. This is from Broom in Western Australia. Try and play that, and then try and learn how to use Flash CS3. I think you'll find Flash is a lot easier to learn. As a matter of fact, this week's lesson is about Flash CS3, and I've taken a bit of inspiration from our Aboriginal friends in Australia here, our Indigenous Australians. Have a look at the artwork on this thing. This is unbelievable. We've got all these little dots. I'll just hold this up to the screen a little bit. It's all painted with little dots there, and you can see we've got some fantastic... I think this is a goanna. Right across this didgeridoo. This is fantastic stuff. So I thought, wouldn't it be great to see if I could animate something, not as good as this, but something like that in Flash CS3. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Okie doke. Here we are in Flash CS3, brand new Flash CS3, new toolbars, new workspace, new panels on the side of the screen here. Very similar and reminiscent of Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign now, so that's got to be a good thing. We have two documents open. I can tell by these little tabs at the top. This is the one we're going to work on, on Untitled 3. We have the timeline at the top. We have the stage area at the bottom. And we have some other panels down the bottom here as well. Properties, filters, parameters, and so on. Let's hide those for a moment. What we're going to do in this little exercise is import some artwork that's been created in Illustrator. This is the stage area here. So let's go and import to the stage a little SWF file that's been generated from Adobe Illustrator CS3. Now, when we created this artwork in Illustrator, there were a whole bunch of blends in it. So when we when we export that from Illustrator, we get the choice to animate the blends. So now, as we import this onto our stage, you'll notice that a whole bunch of keyframes, and that's what these things up here are called, for those of you new to Flash, keyframes have been imported. And as I scrub across the top of those, you can see my little blends taking shape there. I don't want each of my separate blends to appear like that. So what I can do is start dividing up these keyframes. We can make a new layer here. And then we can decide, okay, there's our first keyframe that we want right through to, say, here. And we'll just keep scrubbing around about there and there. So we go from here drag it across, make sure we get just the right ones, and then we can drag and drop that onto our new layer. So that we can move keyframes about really quite easily, and then when we scrub through to the next lot, then they should stay there. So that's excellent. And then as just a, a matter of process, we can add some new uh, layers as we go. Uh, just make sure we're getting the right ones, right out and then drag through, select this lot. Oh, there's quite a few in that little bunch there, isn't there? And drag and drop them. Let's overlap them a little bit this time. We'll dro drop those ones back there. So let's see, they'll both start drawing at the same time. So with a little bit of persistence, we can create something like this. Now, I'm just going to delete one layer here because we might do that together. I'll just delete that. But <clears throat> what I've done is divided up my artwork and added a whole bunch of dots all around in this document. I can drag this down a little bit so you can see there's my static layer at the bottom there. And also, a background color has been added uh, to our document. If you deselect everything, here's a background color, so we can change that to whatever we like. Make it a little earthier 
if you like. So that's pretty that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? I think I think that's very easy to do. Let's choose, except for choosing the color. That's the hard bit. We do that. So there we have our Aboriginal, Indigenous, Australian style dots appearing on there. Let's put a little car on to drive around Australia. Let's do this real quick. We'll jump back to Illustrator where I've got a symbol here of a little mini bus. Okay, so a symbol is the best way to go when you're working with Flash because it means that it will only reference that once. Now I've just copied that. I'm going back to Flash and I'm going to say paste. Now when you paste something like that, we can use Illustrator Importer Preferences and there's some great preferences for live text and for importing uh, symbols and maintaining layers and a whole bunch of stuff. That's what we want to do. We press OK and we should end up with a brand new layer and yes, there it is there. Of course, we can scale this thing up and down, whatever we want to do. Let's scale it down a little. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is make it go around Australia. We can add here a little motion guide. It's a tiny little symbol actually. Let's click it. We get a new guide. Well, you can use any of the drawing tools now. I'm going to use the pen tool, which is very similar now to the pen tool in Illustrator. And you can see as I whip around there, and that's pretty cool. I can do that. Whip around Australia and finish it round about there. Okay, and we've uh, my little toolbar here. I'll just expand it out. When you've got um, some paths like that in Flash, we also have some smoothing options for paths as well. Just make it um, a little bit smoother. That's pretty cool. So what we want to do, we would like to uh, get this guy and snap him to the start of our path. And then what we can do um, is do a little right click. I, th I think... Um, I think what we do is go up to this end, select this last keyframe, right click and we'll say insert keyframe at the end. Okay. Then we select in the middle, anywhere in the middle, right click and say create motion tween. Now, can you see that? Create motion tween. There we've created a motion tween. Nothing will have happened yet. We need to go to our last frame. We've, we've set our first frame. And we need to move him around to where we want him to end up. And he should snap to our little path. There he is. So let's... Wow! That's exciting. We've created a really quick little motion tween. And just to finish this up, let's go ahead and we'll do a little uh, publish preview. And we'll just go ahead and do that in uh, HTML. We'll do it in our web browser. And let's have a look. Hopefully we're capturing this at a at a good rate and we can see a little combi wagon driving around there. You know what? I think I'll post this on my website. How exciting. Wasn't that a great uh, little tip? So I hope if you haven't used Flash, you get a copy of that soon. Well, if you're getting the Creative Suite 3 update, you will get it soon. Uh, it's great fun. Do some little animations and show them to me. Look, I've been having a lot of people, not a lot, a few, going through our forums on my website. So you have a look at, at the forums there. I just want to send a shout out to Dave Bowling, um, who put a terrific post on photo about Photoshop World uh, for us. Thank you very much, Dave. It's interesting stuff. I'm sure everyone watching would like to have a read of that on our forums. And the, any questions you've got, that's where you've got to put it on my website. Or post some comments on YouTube. Whatever way you want to get in contact with me, I love to hear from you. It makes me feel as though I'm not just talking to myself, which is what I normally do. Thanks again for tuning in. The Didgeridoo uh, episode, Creative Suite number 26. Thank you. I'm just going to play play us out uh, with a bit of didge. What do you reckon? We'll, we'll set this going. I don't know how, I don't know how I'm going to go. This um, it's not a very easy. Thing. <sighs>